Good morning, folks. Scott here at Watchway Farms. Thanks for tuning in for another one of my farm videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you a device that I purchased to help prepare the land for, I guess, the rest phase that they go into after a my pigs move out of it. I mean, to date, we really have enough lands and enough woods uh, for our pig paddocks that our pigs really never see the same area twice. And in previous videos, if you've tuned in, I've always said that, you know, that my plan had been about three days before the pigs move out to throw some seed out and let them mix it in and uh, then move them. And though that still is my eventual plan, in reality, what I'm finding is because they're in more woods than they are pasture right now, once they go through an area, it needs to be a uh, brush hog. Though they do a good job clearing everything out. There's still a lot of, I guess, the old privet hedge, just the, the sticks and whatnot that uh, are left. If you saw my previous video, and I'll put a little, maybe a clip of it right here that shows, you can see the area, what it looked like before uh, the a brush hog but after the pigs were out of it until after and then what i found is i felt like i needed something to kind of maybe more uniformly disturb the land kind of fill in some of the 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 nooks and crannies that the pigs created uh so let me show you what i got so what i purchased was this little contraction right here this is a just a kind of a trailer hitch mounted disc um set if you will for lack of a better word it i forget the name brand but i'll look it up uh when i publish this video and put a link to it in the description now as i've said on a couple other videos you know i'm a small time youtuber i'm not sponsored or amazon affiliate i'm not any of that as of at least as of this uh recording and suspect um, you know, may probably never will be, but uh, I still like to give y'all reviews of what I think is good and what I think is bad. And this is kind of one that I think will end up falling into the good category. Now, my this is the right here. Hold this up in front of the camera. So this is the hitch that came with or that comes on my on a Honda ATV. Now, I am of the opinion that. Honda probably makes some of the best um, ATVs out there, but the reality, this for the trailer hitch was crazy. I mean, that's just not gonna hold anything. And it really wouldn't work with this anyway, uh, because it's kind of more of a, you know, this is the part that it's, that slides in. It's that kind of, I call them the, the Reese trailer hitch uh, style of hitch. Anyway, so I took this off and then I purchased, and I'll put a link for it here or a picture of it on top of the screen here that shows the original hitch that I bought. And for the footage, I'm gonna show you what we used for the first go around and it just didn't work. Let me show you. Come back. Still digging pretty good? Uh, I don't know, the, like this part is a the right hand side is not spinning, it's like I'm Now, as you saw in that video, we started off with the ATV and this little disc uh, set blades on it, and it bent. I mean, that little Kurt hitch, just it's, I won't lie, it, it's just, it's junk. I mean, don't waste your time uh, on that. It, it bent and wasn't really any good. So I took that off and then I actually went to the website of the folks that made 
this hitch and then here and i want to say it's called strong made i'll put a link to this in the description as well this is what they sent me and i guess it does i guess we'll file this under the you get what you pay for category whereas the curt hitch was like 30 or 40 bucks and it you know didn't last an hour uh before it bent this i think was closer to 100 bucks but it's really I mean, from the looks of it, it's much better made. It, and it was real simple. You just basically, the the two screws down here that were in the hitch that came with it came out, went back in, and they send you a, basically a U-ring of sorts or a U-bolt of sorts that goes over. There's a cross member right here that this um, goes over and attached to. And this is much better. And... What's cool about this is the way this thing, see if I can halfway lift it over here. Uh, I'm not gonna put it on right now as I've already used it. But the way this does is this goes in here and then the weight of the rider and the uh, ATV is what pushes that thing down. You know, and it's got adjustable depths. You can go as, you know, cup from a few inches, a couple inches to several inches uh, deep and it really works. I mean, I'd looked at other ones that were more toe behind uh, type model, but within you had to, you know, you needed cinder blocks or whatever, weight it down. And to me, this is really cool. Oh, uh, and that, you know, it, it, you don't need all that. It uses the weight of the ATV and the rider. And I'm, I've got a lot of extra weight on me, so that helps. And then it is easy. You just kind of flip it upside down and for carrying it out to the field or raise it all the way up. And so it's very portable. And now the one thing is I do have to carry a four by four uh, out and that's the way you've got to um, load it. And maybe I'll do a quick little clip to show you, but basically you put a four by four uh, under the tires, back up on it. And that's how you load it. Let me show you. I guess if you were going to say the one drawback of this, this would be it, but I really don't see this as that big of a drawback. You just back it up on a couple of four by fours and then just slide this right in. And then, and then that's how it's set and it's ready to go. Again, you can drop it down however deep you want and then go to town like you saw in the earlier uh, in the video. So now it is December the 12th, Saturday or Sunday, December the 12th. And this is the area the pigs were at. They moved out of here on Halloween, October the 31st. And we the part of the video where you saw us using the little disc on the ATV and on the Kubota side-by-side -side was November the 13th. Now, I actually, though this is, as you can see, it's growing really well through here, but really when we first put it down, it probably didn't rain for like a week uh, when we put it in. So I actually think week, week and a half, I actually think the growth got off to be a little bit slower. Um, than it could have but we got really good coverage you know and again this looked like that overgrown just woods and now you know the the pigs may come back here one day they may not i mean if everything goes as planned this will now be cow pasture and i will continue to let them do their job clearing woods i mean i'm just i'm so impressed at the job that they did here. Our farm in total is just shy of 80 acres, like 79.8 or something is what the survey said. But we've only got about 35 or so acres of pasture now, like you see in the, the background up here of, of this video. The rest of it is woods and we have hired mulchers to come in and kind of help reclaim some of it, but I am been leaning more towards just using this approach with the um, with letting the pigs do a lot of the clearing for us and reclaiming a lot of this for pasture. So 
my plan will be let the pigs do their job, um, come in back like I did here, brush hog, and then throw some seed down. This is just winter rye and clover here. I may throw some bahia seed out in the spring. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and then do pasture. And then once I get to the spot where there's no more woods, I guess for the pigs to uh, clean, then I might look at uh, rotating them through again. So like I said, I got a, I got a lot of, a lot of time and a lot of woods and a lot of pigs uh, to raise out before I get to that. So anyway, so I hope you found this useful. Uh, again, check the links at the bottom. I should try to share all the links that I can think are relevant to the, uh, to what I, what I did here. And if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Give me a uh, subscribes are always uh, appreciated. And any comments or feedback uh, is also appreciated. So thanks again and hope you have a great day and we'll see you back here on the next one.